All right, welcome back, everybody. We're about to board the Kataraya playing Skyrim. Uh, apparently, the first time we tried to kill the Emperor, it didn't work out too well for us, so we're going to finish the job here. Now, I think I remember there's like a secret entrance to get in here. It's been a while since I've done this one. Probably a couple of years. Okay, I can get it this thing. As long as I don't turn on. Cool. So let's do it. <sighs> and that's the last one. All right, enough of this. Kill the Emperor. Hey, I'll set this. Alright, let's charge our weapon up over here. With one of these graders. I think I've got like 40 of them on me or something. Which is kind of insane. Uh uh. Yeah. Seriously, though. Ooh, wheat. Nice, I actually get to use one of our lock picks. Got 80 of them. I wonder if I stay on this uh, ship long enough, like, will I go and leave Skyrim? I could even pose as the Emperor. Come on, let's get something to eat. Gods, I'll be glad to see the last of Skyrim. Someone there? What happened to your friend? Oh, poor guys. We're just sailors, man. Hey, nothing personal, you know. Just here. This guy paid me money, you know, and I'm here to do the uh thy bidding, you know. Sorry about that, man. I don't know if I want to check every one of these things. Battle axe. Code of uh, Malakath? I don't think I have that one. I think I have all those. All those other ones kind of look familiar too. And that guy was just sitting there. Yeah, I've got all these. Like there was no bartender. Wasn't that kind of weird? He was just kind of sitting there. Oh, I don't have, well, I might have that one. We're taking it. Who guard it? Well, the hell was that? It's all over now. Left 
Lieutenant said you could see the smoke from Whiterun. Yeah, I'm glad we can finally stand down. I'm getting tired of looking over my shoulder all the time. Nothing to do now but sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip home. Until this happens. There's someone there. Oh, crap. Right in the head again. Sorry, guy. All right, who's making all that noise? That's really the guy I'm looking for. Like, do you guys carry like any salt in this whole ship? Okay, that's up on the deck. Hello, Capitan. Shouldn't you be on the deck? Ooh, master. Well, I've got 80 picks to do this. I wonder how much it's going to take me. I would say by the time I hit 70, I'll get it. Would be nice to carry like a lock picking potion for situations like this. All right, I found it. Okay, more to the left. More to the left. Almost. Oh, 70 has come and gone. Well, at least I leveled up. Okay, I don't know if I'm going like further away from it. Okay, I'm going further away from it. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I got so many lockpicks. All right. Worth it. Oh, there's the master key. See, I don't even know if I want to pick it up. I probably need it in order to, like, there's probably a, a place that says, like, I'm going to need a key in order to get in there. I'd rather just use another 27 lockpicks. Sounds like we're getting closer. Are we getting closer? There he is. All right, the racket has finally stopped. I'm trying to sneak in peace here, man. And that guy's just in here making weapons and stuff. That is devout. Who opened the door? It was me. Poor guy. All these guys thought they were going to go home, you know? Okay, is this guy dead? Like, did this guy just kill everyone here? Like, what happened? It wasn't me. Can't pin these on me, man. Who else here? Take it all. Oh, there's an invisibility potion. You don't need to go invisible when you're the master stealth. That is myself. All right, up to the upper deck. To the Carlia upper deck. 
Who's first? This guy? What was that? Hey, but you're deaf. Let's go behind here. Over here. Oh crap. Alright, well I got a couple poisons for you, bro. Come on a little closer. Okay, I'm going bull. Ball, bull rush. Like a Jackie Chan moves right there. I've been working on him. Oh, you got me. You got me on that one, man. Good shot. Alright, is there another guy? Oh, yeah. Good shot, man. You tell you're kind of new to the army. You had your chance. Yeah, maybe I should have went stealth. Well, I'm like a stealth slash combat archer, you know? So I can do it all. Take all this chump change. Can't take the horker loaf, as tasty as it sounds. Which way am I going? No, there's no way he can be down there. Wasn't I just down there? Or did I come out of this room? Yeah, I think I came out of that other side. Why would they tell me to go this way? Any wine, anybody? Ooh, Grand Soul Jam. You know, I'm going to take this book. I would be taking all these if I didn't already fill up all of my library. I don't think I have this one either. Hmm? Okay, Lieutenant. Oh yeah, you're dead, dude. Sorry about that. Okay, we already have one of those. Now, I'm thinking about just taking all of them. I mean, there's a couple of doubles even here. I just really want to make sure I have the whole set, you know? I mean, it looks like the whole set's right here. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're here to kill the Emperor, okay? Think this guy's still alive? Not anymore! Oh, you didn't hear that? Wake up, man. Talk about stealth, man. I'm really looking for Morrow, dude. Just hearing things. 
Oh, it's just a sailor. Sails the seven seas. All right, so we're hungry. Behind me. Is someone there? Must be my imagination. Okay, we kind of already came through here. Like, where is this guy? Emperor's quarters. I can't just walk in and kill this guy. Like, I gotta give him some kind of speech. Morrow, the fool. I told you, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. That's right. Um, do I still have a poison? I don't. Well, let's charge our weapon anyways. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. Uh, I kind of like your robe. Yeah, you were expecting me? Of course. You and I have a date with destiny, but so it is with assassins and emperors. Hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. Yeah. But I wonder... Would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? You're the Emperor. Well, I thank you for your courtesy. You will kill me, and I've accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. Go on. So, I ask of you a favor. <laughs> an old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you've been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? Uh -huh. I'll consider your Thank request. You. Now, on to the business at hand, I suppose. Hmm? Uh, don't you want to put up a fight or anything? Ooh, we're going to take this book. I could have swore this guy put up a fight before. Finally. Salt. In the last room. Yeah, I'm sure there's like books that are here that aren't anywhere else in the game. At least that's what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta kill the Ember. All right. All right. Well done, sir. You want it in the back or in the head? In the head it is. <laughs> Emperor's robes. That's two of them now. That looks like an elven. You know, I think last time I did this, he was wearing dragon armor gauntlets or maybe it's somewhere in the room oh nice
Oh, there they are. The gilded wrist. Is that like armor? Yeah. I think these are the only ones in the game. Take them all. Okay. Eh, I guess I might as well take that. Yeah, like I said, I, I could have swore the first time I did this that the guy was kind of like he put up a fight. I sleep in his bed, piss him off. Like, is that a steel mace? Like, who put a steel mace in there? It's probably ebony. It's got to be ebony. Okay, I just leveled up again. Well, it is an expert. Not my fault. There we go. Yeah, it is an ebony ace. You know, if you knew I was coming, you would think that you would probably have that on you. Okay, so that's the way out. Cool. All right. Good day, sir. Nice talking with you. So, should we kill that guy? I don't know if I killed him last time. That was his dying wish. <clears throat> he is the emperor and all. All right. So, half gainer. Where's Morrow? I never get to kill Morrow. Half gainer double double somersault. Not really. Okay, well we're gonna go over here and we're gonna get some more food. And then that mortuary guy, he's probably back in. Uh, yeah, he is. Food is food. Yeah, sometimes if you kill them when they're in the sand, they fall right through the ground. All right, where are these guys? Right here. Tasty horker loaf. Oh, what was that? Man, I'm gonna look at a uh, arrows here. Cool. Take it all. Alright. <clears throat> so back to solitude. Get some torch bugs. And then we will complete all the Dark Brotherhood stuff. And that one, actually, I like uh, doing the repeatable quest on that one. The one for the companions kind of suck. Go kill a bear, you know. It's like, what the hell? Where, where, how did they even think that up, you know? But for this one, you know, they give you a random guy. I guess it's always like... A nervous patron or some other kind of crap like that. And that actually makes more sense, you know. For the companions, I don't even know what you would do. I think they should, like... Like, I don't know. What would be the one for the companions?
Like go rough someone up? Go beat someone down? I don't know. Uh, well, we don't really need to go into solitude, so we'll just kind of run up the ridge here. And, uh, yeah. Just killed the emperor. How does it feel? I don't know, kind of the same. What is that? And now people are going to talk about me. They're like, Hail Sithis, you know, when you walk by the guards. Because that's how we roll. Let's see what this guy says. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Watch it, man, you know. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? White run, my good man. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Yeah, I'm kind of torn. Should we go and kill that guy? I mean, the dude's dead, you know. It really doesn't matter what I told him I always visit the in the end. Never hurts to pay your respects to Lady Kinnerith. I still think it was him. Now, I guess Astrid did come out and say that she was the one that betrayed us. And then in turn killed, you know, her husband and herself and the rest of the people. And to be honest, you know, I feel like a connection with Nazir and Babette more than anybody else. So, you know, they're kind of doing me a favor. Alright, so we got a couple of butter. Alright, well let's go talk to this guy and we will make some, uh, I think we need lavender though. And tomatoes. And I don't think I have any of that to make the horker stew. But the horker loaves, they only weigh a pound. Maybe they weigh two. I don't know. I'm going through so much food, it really doesn't really matter. Especially if I'm like running all over this place. In survival mode. You know, and this whole time, ever since level one, I haven't eaten anything that I haven't killed. So that's kind of what makes it the ultimate survival mode and that was pretty tough pretty tough because you know you can't kill a deer until like level 30 or no, maybe 20 even with the sneak attack okay what do I have I got something I can sell to her let's put on the black guards hood jester clothes amulet I got quite a few things I can sell her. Got some good pieces out. Take a look. All right, let's see what she's got. I pretty much have everything. I don't think I have this one actually, but I don't really want to put that on a weapon, anyways. Yeah, I've come to the understanding that that one piece of. Uh, the necklace that I've been looking for this whole game, it's not in this game. Like, they just totally took it out of it for better prices. Okay, this battle axe is. weighs a lot. And I don't want to carry it anymore. So I'm just going to give it to you. And you can have your money. I guess I could take a couple of, uh. Moonstone? Like, what the hell do I need? I don't really need anything or want anything from this girl. I think ebony ingot you need for the dragon scale stuff, so maybe I will take that. I'm going to keep the daggers, get rid of these arrows. Got a hundred dollars left. Don't forget to. All right, let's switch to our walking around gear here walk around like a Christmas ornament I swear Inside that's what this looks like and I guess you know it's like kind of a Christmas thing you know but like I said it's something different you know there's only like two or three items in the game that actually give you warmth bonus so I guess I'll walk around looking like you know this what's wrong with Skyrim How these days? The today, uh, what do you need? Some call this I doubt she's gonna have Me? some butter. 
I call them. Yeah, because I just bought some. Remember, be careful. Hey, I'm walking here. So I'm able to check a Holga. Holda. That's one of the hardest things to find in the game is butter. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks. And yeah, warm if it's bed. a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once we Kyle gets them, they're got. If it's work you're looking for, Holda's the one to talk. Just let me use the freaking cooking thing. Hey Sadie, you wake up, dear. Yes, mum. All right. Yeah, they only weigh a pound, so it's not too bad. And this is the precious butter. You want a drink? Depends. Are you thirsty? Every time, this lady's always hitting on me. Uh, I could have swore I saw butter. All right, we actually do need some salt, though. Cool. Now, please, no more questions. Hey, someone's looking for you. All right, where are you at? Aha! You're back. Uh, he's dead, bro. I know, I know. I received the news not moments ago. <laughs> this is glorious! My friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire, indeed all of Tamriel, in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, uh, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenwood. Now please, go. Collect your money, and let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Okay, we are gonna not look on one another again. And, uh, sorry, man. You know, we gotta tie up loose ends here. And, uh, I can't have anyone know the true identity of the listener. So, goodbye, my friend. But we had a deal. Uh, I had to do the dying man's wish. Oh, I'm glad I did. Sorry, bro. No one saw nothing. You know, I kind of feel wrong for doing that. I'm part of the Dark Brotherhood. Like, what does it matter? Like, you shouldn't even try to yes. kill anybody your own damn fault you know it's your own fault man you sowed your own fate so let's see retrieve the payment and we'll be done where is that place Okay, well, we kind of need to sleep, too, but I kind of didn't want to sleep there. You know, I just kind of killed that guy. So, uh... Maybe we'll find... I mean, there's a bunch of places we can sleep on the way there. And I kind of like going to those places. It's been a while, so those, uh... Places might have respawned the bad dudes. Yeah, that was kind of wrong. Now that I think about it. You know, he trusted me. Especially his last words. We had a deal. Like, that's going to stick with me. For at least, you know, an hour or so. See, but the Emperor, he didn't blame me, you know. He's like, look, you're just an assassin, you know. It's not your fault. And that was part of the mission, you know. But in the end, you know, he knows me, right? I mean, that's how our organization works. I imagine. Want to become famous? Well, pay for followers? I don't know about that, man.
I wonder if anyone's actually done that. Paid for followers. I'm sure someone out there has. Okay, we got a deer. Kind of hanging out over here. And that's a meal. I don't want to take any chances here. You know what? I don't even think I can kill this guy with one hit with this gear. <sighs> oh, well, it worked. Cool. Get to live on another day. And really, who was that dude, you know? I mean, there's a lot of mystery. Who asked to kill, you know, the emperor, you know? <clears throat> Couldn't understand if I was like, you know, maybe he was gonna become the emperor now, you know? And even still, if he was gonna become the emperor, um, would I really want him to be the emperor? He knows my true identity. Okay, I don't know if there's anything in here. I mean, there's a dead drop, but other than that, I'm sure there's got to be another reason to come to this place. He's kind of a pain in the ass, too, really. And let's see how much money we get for killing the Emperor. Uh -huh. 20,000. I mean, when you have like 70,000 to begin with, really, it's not. Is it much? Alright, so we did this. We're still not too tired. So maybe we can go to, uh, wow, 20,000 though. Like, would you leave 20,000 in an urn in this place? Like, wouldn't you think someone could come and get it? Maybe, maybe not. And to really, to be honest, I mean, 20,000, I'd rather have, oh, I guess we can... I think it'll be closer just to go back to Wyatt Run. Um, I'd rather have some kind of, I don't know, like gear or something. Something that's really unique, cool. Like once you get enchanting all the way up and your smithing, your alchemy, really the best things in the game are stuff you make. Which kind of sucks because then anything you get, you know, is just kind of like worthless really to be honest because nothing you can you can find in the game is going to be better than stuff you can make except that bow there's a bow I think it's called the Zephyr bow that gives you better uh, attack speed and you should be able to enchant that or disenchant that Don't leave. Come on. That's my dinner. Oh, man, this freaking... No crosshairs on... Alright, where'd the other guy go? As I walk around looking like a Christmas ornament. Hey, I guess I'm just glad you can shoot from the horse. You know, one of the biggest bummers about being a mage is you can't do any of your, uh, magic from the horse. And that just is a damn shame. Okay, don't fall off. And me too. Oh my goodness. 
That suck, you just get off the horse and fall off the mountain. Game over, man. I better like quick save it or something. But the thing I like about wearing this particular type of gear is that, uh, you know, it doesn't weigh much. A couple pounds. But I guess light armor in general, you know, doesn't weigh that much either. So I could just have two sets of uh, glass armor, but really, glass armor sucks and I hate wearing it. And we still haven't unlocked dragons either. I said I was going to do that like three or four episodes ago and I just never did. But it's nice, you know, because I'm just going from place to place, just kind of doing my thing. And when dragons come, you know, you gotta like... They always come at inconvenient times. Like you're doing a mission or something, something comes up. These guys could probably one-shot me if they wanted to. And then a dragon comes up, you know, and you're just like, oh, again. Watch out for the saber tooth. That would been a good fight. I'd probably put five on the troll. The troll could probably take him out, because those guys would, like regenerate health pretty, pretty rapidly. Who? Who? Where? Oh, these guys? Oh yeah, they're after me. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I think a couple of videos ago, oh, this guy, a bandit marauder, just one shot at me and that was it. Dead. Because I don't have any armor. And really, the dragon light armor kind of looks crappy too, in a way. Alright, I wonder, I don't think I have the back door open. I guess let's check it. I don't even know if you can buy it until you move in. So I guess with that 20 grand, we're pretty much going to spend it all on all the upgrades you got to buy for this place. Hungry again. And you should be able to recruit more people here. I know you get like the followers that never die. Which are kind of cool, but they're kind of bland at the same time. Like, they need to be, you need to say something to them, you know? Or, like, they need to have some kind of backstory. Like, I don't know. Like, that was cool about the other guys. Like, they all had backstories. Like, they shouldn't just be some generic person that just cut out, male or female, and then. Here you go. You're stuck with these people now. I mean, that's the, half the reason why I kept Cicero alive. I wonder if they killed him. Well, what word of the Emperor? Uh, gone. Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. 
You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. All in day's work, my now, friend. of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor. How much did Motier pay for such a thing? 20 grand. Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. Bland ones. Okay, I have another, like, mission what do you too. Need, listener? This guy is dead. By Sithis, now I am truly impressed. To kill a pirate captain on our own ship, no less. Simply masterful. That's all you You've gave not him? only earned your payment, but my respect as well. I thought I already did Believe that. Believe me, friend. That does not come easily. I'm afraid that concludes our business. You have exhausted all available additional contracts. But I'm sure you've got plenty to keep you busy right about now, hmm? Or do I? I don't know. Am I missing something? You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. See, and I kind of like that area. That little... I don't know. Where's Cicero? I know I kept him alive. It is done. That kind of scared me. Emperor Titus Mead the Second lies dead, and the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. Do you think you have to talk like that? Can you yet just talk to me? Another more? child has prayed to their mother. Speak with the wary outlaw at the Bee and Bob in Ripton. Accept his gold and then eliminate the target. So begins a contract bound in blood. You know, it'd be kind of cool. Like, if she speaks like that, she needs to give me more of like a cryptic note you know you know i can still sell you some potions and such or train you in alchemy who says i need i'll train you Hello, in alchemy listener. some may call this junk me i call them treasures what's wrong with your eyes all right Stay safe. i don't know what you did to poor cicero See, I like to have Cicero around, you know, because he's nuts, you know? Let's talk about a backstory. Oh, there he is. Uh, good to see you again, old friend. Uh, let's just say this one. Oh, yes, it is Cicero. <laughs> you are a fool to spare me. What, did you think I would be grateful? Cicero should be listener, not you. Now, you will die. Really? <laughs> gotcha! Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you did get me. Sister, you should see the look on your face. <laughs> oh, Cicero has returned. Not to kill the kind listener, but to serve until one of us dies horribly in service to our mother. Best friends... Forever. BFF. In the meantime, I'll make myself at home in the sanctuary. I'm sure Mother needs tending. <laughs> you are the keeper. Say hello to everybody else. Cicero is at your service. Oh, oh that's right. great and powerful listener. Okay, good for you, man. 
Okay, so I guess I gotta go talk to Delvin Mallory in order to get all the upgrades for this place. I was like, what's all the drums and the beating of everything? So, what's cool about this place is I didn't even know this. I guess I should have with all the hours I put into this game. But this guy will... Looking to hire a boat? Yeah. I can take... Where are you headed? Either Solitude or Windham. Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Like, I kind of never knew that. Just until, like, maybe, I don't know, a couple of videos ago, actually. And it's ten years I played this game. I think I came across him a couple of times, but I don't know. Never put two and two together. And, you know, playing survival, you know, you do a lot of traveling because you can't fast travel. And you kind of don't want to because you need, I mean, it takes a lot of food to be able to jump from place to place. I mean, we've got a lot because I've been kind of saving it, but um, you kind of want to do the quest, you know, like, I'm going to go to this place, knock out five quests, but, you know, I don't, I think that just kind of takes it out. Like, uh, you know, from a role-playing aspect, you know, would you do that in real life? No, you want to go and do something else and come back around? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you would do that. That would be like the, the real go-getters in real life. Okay, so we're going to take the... we got to take a break, actually. Because I'm going to run out of space for this next video. So, we're going to take five. We'll be back, everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, once again, we'll see you. I'm only going to take about a five-minute break. So, uh, 